I am famous for being beautiful, gorgeous, amazing, and talented. She's just trying to seek Insta fame, you know, through social media, trying to go viral. Talent. Talent. I want to say this right at the beginning of this video. Mia, if you or your family see this video, I have been praying for you. I am sorry that I have to make this video. This is a public exposure video of a false prophet here in Canada that is mocking you. Right. He's sexualizing you, saying you're some, somewhat attractive inside of his church in the punchline of one of his sermons. He calls you some horrible things. And I want to put a disclaimer right at the beginning of this video that I have been praying for you. I've been praying for your family and I'm asking my viewers to pray for you. And I, I do exposure videos in hopes that we can shut this guy down. I hope he gets out of ministry. That's my hope, is that people will get away from this false prophet this false internet prophet. And um, that's it. So I'm going to play him. And I'm going to expose this right now. And I'm sorry that he has done this. God bless you. I was watching a little thing on Facebook yesterday. There's this deluded woman. Uh, she uh, is crazy. Anyway, he's interviewing this, this young lady, you know, who's somewhat attractive, but she talk, talk, starts talking about being a princess. It should be seven billion. I didn't watch any after that. I'm thinking, where do you get that kind of twisted thinking? It's becoming. So he's calling Mia, the teenage girl, a deluded woman. She's not a deluded woman. She's a teenage girl sitting with her father talking to a doctor. The person that is deluded is this man. That's who deluded. And I have been very vocal that he is a scumbag. The reason I called him a scumbag was in this video. Thank you to my friends who are liking my videos. Please support your local food bank, Drunk and Alcohol Center. Civil War reenactment. This is a Civil War reenactment. This came out six years ago. This is a reenactment. These... This man is the inspired priest and enjoys dressing up in prophet costumes and putting on this costume. This is, if you're a new Christian, they're claiming this is a mental and that he is an apostle to the world. This is the video we're going to go, I'm going to play it right through so you can have the full context. And we're going to break down how he's mocking this little teenage girl on social media. Well, as I said, we talked to... Um, Maya's mother, and she gave us a statement, and here it is. I want to defend Maya. She is a victim of Jim's. He created this, but she seeks attention in a sick way because she's never been validated before. Jim was physically abusive to me and Maya, but he was smart about it. Jim would hold me against the bed. He pushed my head on the floor. A few times he held a gun to my head. Maya was spanked many times. Sometimes he left marks. I only stayed because I couldn't control Maya on my own. Jim would tell Maya, you're stupid or you're going to fail in life. She can lie too. Maya cannot manage her emotions. I eventually had to leave because Jim was abusive to me. I wanted to take Maya with me, but I was scared of her at times and I couldn't handle her alone. This is Mia, this is her father. She's on the Dr. Phil show. And Mia, of course, um, my computer seems to be acting slow. What's going on here? This is Mia. I have a daughter about her age, teenage daughter. And she's on the Dr. Phil show. And of course, well, this is, I'm just going to give you some context. This is the show that I think she I'm watched. at he, he watched. 7 billion. You know what the. All right. Okay, so. uh, whatever. I think I'm at 7 billion. All right, so this young, this young lady, uh, just a teenage girl, uh, is on social media. And this man, the inspired priest, according to Bob Jones, is mocking her. So I'll let you watch it right through, and then we're going to break it down a bit. In other words, you might have a destiny, but you have to actually walk in that destiny. And the proof that you're walking in that destiny is somebody other than you is saying you're that. I was watching a little thing on Facebook yesterday. There's this deluded woman. 
Uh, she uh, it was crazy. It was crazy. I, who's that guy? That doctor guy who's always saying, "How's that working for you?" No, Doctor Phil. Doctor Phil. Yeah, yeah. You have to say it louder because I can't. Uh, doctor Phil, how's that working for you? So, anyways, interviewing this this young lady, you know, who's somewhat attractive, but she starts talk, starts talking about being a princess and 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 this. I'm, I'm, I have, I was busy becoming, being famous. And he says, oh, what criteria did you use to determine you were famous? The, uh, like, who, who is telling you you're famous? She says, the globe. Well, your, your Facebook following or Instagram or something like that, you have 10,000 followers. Oh, that's wrong. The, the numbers are wrong. It should be 7 billion. I didn't watch any after that. I'm thinking, where do you get that kind of twisted thinking? The, the numbers are wrong. It should be 7 billion. I didn't watch any after that. I'm thinking, where do you get that kind of twisted thinking? It's becoming... Okay, so this man is somewhat attractive to this young teenage girl sitting with her father talking to a Dr. Phil show. You know who's somewhat attractive, but she likes to... We'll back to some of it here. I was watching a little thing on Facebook yesterday. There's this deluded woman. So he's calling Mia, the teenage girl, a deluded woman. She's not a deluded woman. She's a teenage girl sitting with her father talking to a doctor. The person that is deluded is this man. That's who deluded. And I have been very vocal that he is a scumbag. The reason I called him a scumbag was in this video. This is my website. And I have gone on record calling the inspired priest a scumbag because of this video right here. <laughs> what? Yeah. I don't know that may... I want to talk on nudity. <laughs> All right, so in this video, he talks man completely naked in church. This man thinks it's hilarious that in, you can come watch this video. That a grown man ripped off all his clothes completely nude inside of church. Can you imagine? There's children there, young people, wives, husbands, kids. They're in church praising God. And he's claiming that the Holy Spirit of God caused a man to rip all of his clothes off completely naked and run into church. And I called him a scumbag for ever thinking that's funny. Sadly, people that are caught up in uh, this spiritual movement of the dominionist. Right. You know, I gotta kind of compose myself. <laughs> Sorry. This is a, more of a difficult video. This poor young, I pray the Lord's will be done in her life. Mia, if you watch this video, I have been praying for you. And, um, you know. Uh, she, uh, it was crazy. It was crazy. I, who's that guy, that doctor guy who's always saying, how's that working for you? No. Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil. Yeah, yeah. You have to say it louder because I can't. Uh, Dr. Phil. How's that working for you? So anyways, interviewing this, this young lady, you know, who's somewhat attractive, but she talk, talk, starts talking about being a princess and, and, and this, I'm, I'm, I, have, I was busy becoming, being famous. And he says, oh, what criteria did you use to determine you were famous? The, uh, like, who, who is telling you you're famous? She says, the globe. Well... Your, your Facebook following or Instagram or something like that, you have 10,000 followers. The Globe. Yeah. On YouTube, you have less than 10,000 subscribers. Oh, no, that's, uh, yeah, like that's, you know, it's a glitch. It's a glitch. No, no, it's not a glitch. It's the number of followers or no, subscribers you have. No, Dr. Phil, it's 100% a glitch. It's... You know, um, it's supposed to be a capital B at the end, not a K at whatever. I think I'm at 7 billion. Do you know what the world population is? Um, I, like, I don't keep up with, you know, the pores really. 
Yeah. I just don't. Or something like that. You yeah. have 10,000 followers. Oh, that's wrong. The, the numbers are wrong. It should be 7 billion. See, he thinks it's hilarious. This mock job of a false pastor mocking this teenage girl in his church thinks it's hilarious. Absolute scumbag. And um, now, this is the video he's talking about. I don't keep up with, you know, the pores really. Yeah. I just don't. All right. Now, in this video, he's talking about me as social media, 10,000 uh, subscribers. This is his YouTube. So let's talk. This like this man, this global prophet to the world. We might as well listen to that first. Then we'll look at his YouTube. Apostle to the world. And so, with that... <clears throat> This apostle to the world, he's going out. Now, I do this not necessarily for him, but for Canada. Yeah. It's time for the apostolic chiefs to come forward. Sorry, if you don't know what he's talking about, apostolic chiefs, it all ties into the Super Bowl players winning the Super Bowl back in 2020. And of course, uh, he enjoys wearing a mental costume, pretending he's a prophet, as well as an inspired priest and global prophet to the world. And of course, his YouTube channel. Here is the history of his YouTube channel. He was joined January 12, 2012. So 12 years ago. So how is this global prophet to the world wearing his mental costumes doing on his social media? He has 8,000 views, 230 videos, and 178 subscribers. All right. 12 years of hard work YouTubing, 188 subscribers, and 230 videos. He has more videos than he does subscribers. This is his videos, 10 views, 7 views, 7 views, 5 views, 2 views. It could be him and his wife that watch this video. 2 views. This is one of more of his popular videos, 21 views, 3 views. This is his Facebook. Prepare, watch the full message on YouTube channel. What I've noticed with Mark over the years, I've been studying his religion. Like I said, it's important that we're looking at this guy. He's claiming to be the inspired priest, global prophet to the world. He's very focused on promoting his YouTube channel. Watch the full message on YouTube. Watch the full message on YouTube. Quite often he'll mention, if you haven't checked out my YouTube channel, because he's been working at it for 12 years. And 8 views, 19 views. This is one of his more popular videos with 44 views. 5 views, 16 views, 13 views. And as you can see, this global profit to the world. Um, you know, it's interesting. He does have at least 3 to 5 views, 4 views, 4 views. So somebody will watch what, or two views. It could be him just watching the, the, his videos. There's, there's the one here. One view. He's got one view on that video. Now, why is this significant? Well, we're going to judge this global prophet to the world, mock job, mocking this teenage girl in his social media by his own weights and measures. So we're going to back to see this. We're going to back this up. How, what criteria do you use to determine you are famous? She's talking about, we'll back this all the way back. Because in this video, he's talking about, I had a prophetic word. Now watch where I go with this. Word, I'm supposed to be a global prophet. God told I had a prophetic word. I'm supposed to be a global prophet. Why I find that significant is, this was one year ago. This was two years ago. I don't take them out of context. I'm going to say mostly that was me and a little bit him. That little bit is just gone. 
and I appreciate Mark Brisbaugh and the apostolic teaching mantle. This apostle to the world. He's going out. Did you see that? Apostle to the world. So this is an apostle to the world. And I appreciate Mark Brisbaugh and the apostolic teaching mantle. This apostle to the world. Apostle to the world. This is the apostle to the world wearing his mental costume, pretending he's a prophet. And in this video, he's saying, I had a prophetic word. I'm supposed to be a global prophet. God told me. So let's, and then we're going to read the Bible. I had a prophetic word. I'm supposed to be a global prophet. God told me I'm an apostle. God told me I'm this. Well, you know, it's that old saying. It's like if you're an apostle of the world and you've only got a, f and nobody's following you, then you're just out going for a walk. And in other words, you might have a destiny, but you have to actually walk in that destiny. And the proof that you're walking in that destiny is somebody other than you is saying you're that. I was watching a little thing on Facebook yesterday. There's so there it is there. Day goes on to mocking uh, me on social media. All right, so if you want, you can come watch these videos. Can he inspired priest dominion? Inspired priest according to Bob Jones, the great wealth transfer, trillions of dollars in the hands. He doesn't actually say the hand or forehead, downloaded on the hand or forehead. So the, and that's the concept and the reason for this uh, page on my website is Spirit birthing, the inspired priest, according to Bob Jones, the great wealth transfer. You can come watch these videos. This video I haven't posted, um, spirit birthing. That's, uh, he likes to pretend he's an apostle, Ken Gill. There's Bob Jones, Todd Bentley. Todd Bentley, uh, Bob Jones, and um, Dominion Theology. The idea is that until Christians defeat the devil, Eliminate sin, dominionize the world, the great wealth transfer, uh, all the money on earth uh, into the hands. The prophecy is the hands of the righteous. So all the money, all the gold bars, all the diamond, silver, gold, and until Christians have all the money on earth, dominionize the world into one world religion, government, and currency, Jesus can't return. That's what they're prophesying. The Great Wealth Transfer, Dominion Theology, One World Religion, One World Government, One World Currency. That's what. That's the end game of Dominion Theology. They're going to dominionize the world. If it sounds very similar to Revelation 13, it causes all greater, small, rich, or poor, free, or slave to be marked on the right hand of the forehead, so you know, could buy it or sell. You're right. It sounds identical to the Mystery Babylon, the Great, the Beast, Harlot, Babylonian system that will be sitting on uh, seven mountains found in Revelation. Cartoon prophecies. Um, this is where he is talking about the half naked man walking around. Or, sorry, the whole naked man ripped off all his clothes and he thought it was hilarious. This is C. Peter Wagner, New Apostolic Reformation. And before I leave you, if you made it this far, like the video. And to my viewers, I should have said this at the beginning of my video. There are people that are inter impersonating me, taking a screenshot and asking for money in the comment section. That is not me. There are impersonators online. This is where people get involved with my street ministry outreach that want to participate, get involved. I love you. Thank you to my friends. If you want to sign up to my newsletter, you can sign up to my newsletter or donate. But official Brother John Elving Ministries. And uh, there's a place on my website for you to sign up to my newsletter. Thank you for watching. I pray you have a great day. I'm going to upload this now. Today is, it's actually a little bit later. Tuesday, June 25th. I'm going to upload this right now. I just had another notification. And then I'm headed off to the street late today. Uh, but that's okay. So may the Lord bless you. Keep you strong in the faith. And remember, Brother John loves you. Yo te amo, sin temores, sin medidas, yo te amo. Le hago